DView Cam Management Software by D Please read the following paragraphs for an overview of the features offered by this video management system. DViewCam is available for download from the mydlink.com website. Go to the support pages and load up the camera tab. This will show you a listing of all the MyDLink cameras. Select each camera and you will see below the software available for that camera. DViewCam is in the setup wizard section. Once you have downloaded the DVCAM software, you will need to extract it from its zip file. Once the files have extracted, go to the folder that contains the extracted files and run the setup tool. You will now see the various languages available to you for the installation. Choose your language to proceed. You must accept the licensing terms and then select the mode to install. You would also need to select the username and the company name. Choose a complete installation for a full installation package. The files will now begin installing. When you first run the DVCAM software, you will need to create a password for the administrator login. Type the password and then retype to confirm it, and then press OK. 
The program finishes loading and you are presented with the main console. Click on the setting icon and access the system settings. In the storage section of the system settings you will see that you can select the location for which to store all of your recordings. You can select a hard drive on your computer or a network addressable hard drive that can be accessed by Samba. Now you will see the camera search. Two cameras have been found. Selecting the first one and you will see that you need to put in the username and the password for it to be able to access that camera. To manually add a camera, click insert, type a name for the camera and type its IP address and port number. Again using the username and the password of the camera, also selecting the model number that corresponds to the camera you are adding. To adjust the video settings, click on the camera and click video parameter. Here you will see you can adjust the brightness, contrast and saturation of the image. The changes are reflected in the preview of the image. Clicking default will return them to their normal settings. Click OK to accept At the top right hand corner of the video window you now see a red icon that indicates recording is in progress. This can be controlled, enabled or disabled from the start monitoring button at the bottom edge of the main console. If you click on the schedule configuration button you will access the schedule configuration settings. You will see two modes available, day mode and week mode. Week mode will allow you to set different times for each day. In day mode, you configure the same time for each day. Clicking on the schedule rule in the lower window and clicking configure will get give you access to advanced schedule configuration options. These will include the times for the schedule rule, whether or not you are recording always or recording on motion, setting the post and pre-recording times as well as whether to include audio and also the motion detection settings. Clicking OK at the bottom of the window will allow you to save the settings. Notice now the corner has no icon in it. Click on monitor, start recording schedule and you will see an icon appear. The green icon indicates no recording in progress. Once it turns red, as if triggered for example by motion detection, the icon turns red to indicate recording. Notice that recording is being triggered by motion even though no obvious motion exists in the screen itself. Go to Schedule Configuration and Advanced Configuration of the rule and you can adjust the sensitivity to be appropriate for the setting. Clicking on the playback icon 
will bring up the playback console. The date time search dialog allows you to choose the recording you wish to view by date and by time if needs be. You can also select which camera you wish to view if you have more than one and then use the mouse to drag across the section of recording that you wish to view. The preview window above will show you that which you have selected. You can now play your selected recording. Once you push the play button you will see the clock advancing in the black window below the uh, video image. You can also drag the scrolling playback indicator to any desired position within the selected recording. Here you see the controls for queuing in and queuing out of the recording. This allows you to select the section of the recording that you wish to export to a file to be played on an external player. The export file path will contain the name that you wish to call the file that you export. The export format is chosen below. Clicking on the folder icon enables you to choose the place to save the exported file to. Here you select the file format and also whether or not you are exporting the audio. Bear in mind some Windows Media Player programs may not play the exported file. If you now close the program and go to where you stored the file and open it you will see the exported recording from DVCAM. Back in the main console, stop the recording schedule. Now select Event Action Configuration. Two types of inputs are available. Select the camera and insert event. Two types of event are available. Select Motion Detection give your event a name. Here you see the options for motion detection, sensitivity and interval. Set the motion detection region. Draw in the video preview screen. Select region 1. Now draw again but select subtract. In this way you can define sections of the screen that are monitored. Click Start Simulation. Move an object in front of the camera. And test the areas you have drawn. The result will show on the screen. Select Stop Simulation. Now you have the event options. The life cycle options. And the period in which it's activated. Always day mode or week mode according to the schedule you have set.
Click OK, select the test alarm. Now click how it is displayed on the screen. You can select an edge, a colored edge to the screen and also customized text. Click OK. Click Start Smart Guard and pass an object in front of the screen. You will see the alarm show on the screen. You can then fine tune your settings, testing the sensitivity and also the areas you have set for detection. If you see that you have an area that you do not wish to be detected, you can adjust this in the event action configuration panel. In this way you can make sure that the system functions as you wish it to and reduce the number of false alarms. You can configure multiple actions for the same event. For example, you can select a sound to be played upon the triggering of the event along with the on-screen message. You can again test this in the main console window. Now enable both the recording schedule and the smart guard system. DviewCam is now ready to begin monitoring your video feed for events and recording the events as they occur according to the schedule you have set. Here you see the option to enable manual recording without the need for any kind of schedule. Above is the option to take a snapshot of what is on the screen at that point in time. You can include the on-screen display of the camera. You also have the digital pan, tilt and zoom control which enables you to zoom into any point on the screen. Simply draw the mouse on the video preview window of any point at which you wish to view closer up.